Hey guys, Katie here. It is nearing the end of May and I thought now would be a good time to do a wrap up. Partially because I never did my wrap up for the Book Buddy-a-thon and partially because I'm pretty sure I've finished all the books I'm going to finish for this month. Now, you may remember earlier this month I was reading North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell and I can happily say that I finished this book. I'm really excited about it. I thought it was a great book, not very fast moving. Um, and it definitely takes some time because it's a good 400, 500 pages, but I do think I recommend it. I'm, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people, if you're a fan of classics, will enjoy this, especially if you like Pride and Prejudice, because the story is similar but different from Pride and Prejudice. The main difference to me is that Margaret Hale, who is the main character, isn't quite as endearing as Elizabeth Bennet, although she is very intelligent and strong-willed and outspoken, and that makes her a really interesting character. Actually, the next thing I'm going to do is sit down and film a video about this, so be sure to check that out when it's up if you're interested in reading it. Um, I know that I got a lot out of it, and it was a fun <laughs> classic. <laughs> the next book that I actually finished this month was Equal Rights by Sir Terry Pratchett. I read this for the Book buddy -a -thon with Sabrina from Stickachino, and it was a lot of fun. It was kind of nice having someone to check in with occasionally throughout the week, which we did. But I think that really helped me kind of get through it, even though it was an enjoyable book. It was nice to have someone else to kind of compare notes with along the way. And I hope that maybe I can do more buddy reads from now on because I've had this experience. Terry Pratchett is a funny guy. I enjoyed his sense of humor. I enjoyed the story and I enjoyed the way that it challenged the idea that women can't be wizards. I would definitely like to read more in the Disc World series. If you have a recommendation as to where to go next or if I should continue on the witches line, let me know in the comments below. Um, and especially if you've read this book, let's talk about it. Another book that I was supposed to read for the Book Buddy a thon was Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote. And I did start this and I got a little ways in. I just had a lot going on. So, um, didn't finish it, go figure. I mean, when Sabrina and I started to talk about doing this, we were both saying, mm, I don't know how much of this is gonna happen, but it was fun to try. And I definitely enjoyed this book while I was reading it. And I hope to finish it maybe before the end of the month. So if I do finish anything um, in the next couple of days, it'll be this one. It's very different from the movie. If you have seen the movie, um, this is something entirely different. Uh, so far I've met the same characters and things are familiar, but not at all what I was expecting. I'm also better reading The Tenant of Wild Valhalla with a few lovely ladies. I'll leave all their links below. Unfortunately, this was the one that fell by the wayside when I started the book buddy -a -thon, and I had some bad weeks in the middle of the month, so I just lost track completely. However, I was really liking the book so far. I definitely see why people feel that this book was ahead of its time. I can already tell that it's very critical of the idea of gender and femininity. I'm excited to continue it and I hope that my book buddies will stick with me. I don't know how many of them have finished it, but I know that I wasn't the only one who kind of fell behind, so there's that. <laughs> The next book, um, this was another book buddy a thon book. It is The Mathematician's Shiva by Stuart Rosterger. I don't really have anything to say about this. I haven't started it yet. However, because I picked it up and said I was going to read it for the book buddy a thon, I feel like I have to read it now. So definitely it is at the top of my TBR right now and I am going to finish it soon. And I'll let you know how that goes. So all in all, I feel like I actually had a pretty good month. I mean, I've been reading, which is more than I can say for other months this year. It's been a tough year so far, and it's been hard to just pick up a book. And I've been playing quite a bit of video games. So that's life, I guess, in the big city. I'm excited to see what I can read in June. I'm not actually going on a trip in June this year. I'm actually going in July. So June should be a calm time, a reading time. In fact, I have no plans this weekend for the three-day weekend, so maybe now's a good time for me to hunger down and get some reading done. And I hope that you have a good reading weekend too. Let me know below what you're going to be reading and what you've read this month. If you have any recommendations based on these books or any thoughts about these books, I would love to hear it. So let me know in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye.